Aloy. Hey, I thought I'd, uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it, uh, Reboot Code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. That's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called Control Cores, from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the Control Cores, then... Use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. Okay, yeah, so I'm not going to go back to these two again. We've had enough of that. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. But yeah, I could definitely do that quest potentially to two badass warriors. Aloy. Fine out. We've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Oh, nice. Whoa. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we'll check that out in a bit. Is there any more uh, green exclamation points here? No. Perfect. Okay. Well, now. Honestly, what quest is this? See it. Okay. Yeah, okay. This is perfect because I was literally going to say, depending on where this is, I still want to activate this tool neck first um, and to, to check this area out. So I think that works nice. Now, wasn't there a tool neck here? Does that tool neck change positions now? That's really weird. Hmm. I could swear there was, there was definitely one here and there was maybe one around there. I don't know. In any case, I'm going to start the, the main quest line here and head towards uh, there. Now, what level is the quest she gave us? 25. Okay, so they're giving us some breathing room here. They're letting us get on with the next story quest because um, the two I'm most interested in are these two. Yeah, and we've got some level um, leeway for that. So that's good. I think the first thing I'll do, though, is I'll get out of here and let me just check the workbench for a sec. Whoops. Actually, first... I just think my face says it all as is. That's all. That it does. Where'd Catalo go? Oh, Catalo's gone. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like this is unacceptable at this point. It's been like 25 hours and I've only got one tall neck to my name, so I've got to improve that. Let's check for some weapon upgrades. Still only one? That sucks. No pouch upgrades either. God damn. Yeah, I definitely need a rabbit hide. Uh, yeah, and I need a fox bone. Yeah, so I need like squirrel, rabbit, and fox. That's like the most important ones. Oh, 
Alright, let's get out of here. But yeah, again, I think at this stage, one of the main things I am wondering is if Silence is working on a weapon that can help take out the shielding of Far Zenith, then we have a common enemy. I mean, that's pretty. That's pretty seems simple. quieter when it snows. Mm, this is a nice, peaceful snow. So yeah, if he's like in opposition to Far Zenith, if he's building weapons to try and take them out, then Silence just seems to me like he's the kind of guy that's so obsessed with knowledge that because they have Apollo, surely that's one of the main things that he wants. He wants to be able to gain access to that information. And so I don't think he's he's particularly interested in helping Far Zenith in their plans. He's just using them to, to gain something that he wants. And surely that's going to align our paths eventually. So I can definitely see Silence ending up at the base as well. So it should be interesting. Now, most of this is like unknown. So, well, and there's even two quests along the way. So we're going to head towards the Tornek first. I should probably get another bristle back. Do I have one? Okay, my bristle back is still here. I'm impressed. Anyway, maybe I should maybe I should head down here with the glider a little bit first. Wait a minute. Sorry, Foxy. Oh, it's a red fox, and I've got a fox bone too. Ooh, that means I can get the upgrade for the tear blast arrows. I'm literally going to do that right now. I'm so close to it that I probably should. I can always campfire it as well, actually. So I'm going to quickly head to here. And I mean quickly because we've got them fast loading speeds. Literally takes a second. Um. She's good. Oh god, I need to. I end up in the pit by accident. Yes. This is a much needed upgrade. Okay, so we want vultures and we need some horn skin lizards. Damn, you get to double your tear arrows. Urgh, I want that. But even now, at least, that's that's an improvement. So that's something I definitely wanted. Okay. Another time. Honestly, I can just get on my mount from here and continue as well. I don't have to. You defended the cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's go. Yeah, you see? So that's a bit of a bug. Um, well, not a bit, it is a bug. For some reason the game doesn't realise that I've already done the cauldron. And I think because I haven't done it through the console thing at the base, it assumes that I haven't activated it. Which is of course wrong. So. What is that? Is that a behemoth? It is a behemoth, wow. Damn. Yeah, some new enemies here. These? Uh, they're vultures, so that's why I wanted one. Oh, can't aim that high.
Oh boy. Yeah, there's a bunch of vultures here. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna trigger this off clearly, but. My mount is just chilling there. What is that over there next to it? Cross demo's not gonna do much. I think we can continue now because I don't think there's any more vultures nearby. Alright, let's go. Champion killer. Well met. Whoa. Okay, well I'll take all of these though. But yeah, since we literally had about two hours worth of dialogue and stories there, I think we, we've given ourselves some license to not have to <laughs> not have to focus as much on the story for the next hour or something. Aloy, over here. Alright, alright, dude. Okay. I can get it from my stash later. Yeah, I need to check that stuff out, but I'll do it a bit later. Alright, what does this guy want? Oh, you came. I'm touched. Heard you've been causing all kinds of trouble. Regala must be thrilled. You'll have to excuse the mess. Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon and harvesting parts. Feel free to take any supplies you need. Oh, I did. Our prey isn't far. I'm right behind you. Yeah, I kind of got roped into this one, but... This way. The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. Whoa, what's Can't believe got? an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan won't. Our so-called commander is always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. But do you really think anyone in Scalding Spears dying of thirst? Or her own squad? Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to fight tooth and nail to survive. And I'm guessing that someone is you? Make sure everyone gets all the water they need. No matter what village they're from. Didn't Jataka say you guys have too little to go around to begin with? I'm sure I'd be able to fix that somehow. There's always a way. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, I got dragged into this one, but it's generally along the path towards the tall neck. And like I said, we've had a ton of just standing around listening to, to story. Which for me personally, I don't mind as much. I mean, I come from like Final Fantasy X, Metal Gear Solid kind of background. I can always tolerate a long cutscene, like a long bit of exposition. But I definitely get that it's not everyone's cup of tea. But I think this game has so much other stuff going for it as well. And a lot of the, the talk is optional in that sense, so... Let's have a word before we head in. I don't think it's that big a deal. Heard you've been causing all kinds of trouble. Regala must be thrilled. I'll help you harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, we will. That's the canyon we draw machines into. Then we block them in and pick them off. Now... We'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow. So he used the same line when we first saw him. So that's one of the things I have noticed. That's one of the buggiest things that certain lines are being used when they shouldn't be. Whoa, okay. Yeah, let me. I don't even have a lot of this stuff left. But yeah, I'll try to use my stealth if I can as well.
Yeah, we love that Ravager Cannon. Let's see if we can... Knock it off. There you go, weapon removed. That's what I wanted. Ah. They're so quick that I just didn't have enough time to lay this down. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we both got hit by it, but yeah, okay. That kind of sucks. I think I'll leave it like this for now. But I will check the weaves of some of my favorite stuff. Drenched enemy damage plus 18. Reload speed. Stealth damage. Nice. Yeah, that's definitely a good one. Spike throw. Stealth damage. Close range damage. Draw damage, critical hit chance. Okay, we'll keep that. I think the Bolt Blaster could benefit from this one. So I think we'll go with that. And we'll up the Acid as well. Because these guys definitely don't like Acid, I remember that. So let's go. Okay. So we'll make his acid a bit more powerful as well. Let's see what we got. Um, yeah, you see these chain reaction things are kind of bullshit because I need the, the shock arrow. I don't think I can do that. And I don't have plasma either, so I can't trigger off a chain reaction. And that's why these guys for me are pretty difficult. Uh, well, I need 13 of those for one. Wow. No wonder they all ran out so fast. Okay, they don't like acid, so I'm going to try to plant a acid trap. Plant another one here. I'll throw it on him. Come on, son. Get over here. Again, didn't do quite as much damage as I hoped, but... Ah! I triggered my own trap, shit. Damn it. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, you take acid damage for a little while here. Oh, it's so nimble. Just never stops running around. What an asshole. No, I want this. Yeah, the other one's right here too. 
Yeah, it's going to be crazy now. I need to try and take out that one Ravager that's already in a difficult spot. Come on, get up. I don't know why she's not climbing over. There you go. Well, this one has full health. Shit. That's not the one I want. Yeah, trying to melee these guys is just like an exercise in futility. Look at this. It's total madness. And you can hit the weak spot all you want, it's just not powerful enough. Yeah, Ravager's forever been one of my least favorite kind of enemies. And when there's two in the same place... makes it even worse. I don't think it's something we could, we can't beat. I'm just trying to stand up here so I can do this. There you go. But without the tear blast arrows, I can't take out. Um, I can't take off their plasma cannons. That's why it's so annoying. And they just never fall. They never get shocked. They never. Like they, they just don't seem to suffer from anything really. That's why they're so annoying. I haven't stunned them. I haven't knocked them down. I haven't managed anything. Like, look at that move that they had. Horrible, horrible bastards. Where is it going? Can you please die? God damn it. I'd love to take that Ravager... Uh, thingy. Cannon. I'm literally going to sit here and shoot it off. Here we go. Let's see, I can't even pick it up. Screw you, man. <laughs> Tell me the Ravagers are one of the most annoying enemies in the game. I went to all that effort to bloody get one of the cannons off. And I'm still struggling. It feels like my other guy isn't distracting very much either. As you can see, it's just gunning me down. He's busy with the other other ones. Yeah. I definitely got ravaged here. So something got stunned. I don't know what. I can't actually see where the Ravager Cannon is. Okay. 
I'm just about hanging in there for now. Wow, I, you see I missed that shot. Okay, that's a bit of a random amount of damage. You see again I was going for the I was going for the cannon. Son of a bitch. Go away. We're just hopping around. Go away. Hearts, I'd be grateful. That's a way longer than it should have. They just wouldn't let me have the the Ravager can. That's all the parts we need. I should take these to Draka. If I could have got it that first time I made a run for it, I would have saved like three minutes. But yeah, I've always said I've, I'm bad against Ravagers. Definitely. I think everyone has their machines that they're less capable against. Sorry, Foxy. Got caught in the crossfire. I feel like my guy was preoccupied with the Fanghorns too much, so I kept getting wrecked. To be honest, I haven't been fighting properly for the last two hours. <sighs> May the wings of the Ten carry you home, my brother. I got the hearts. We should head back to Arrowhand. Yeah, at least now we can bag and tag these soldiers. Oh, hold on. Since you can clearly handle a bunch of angry machines... I want to go back to where the Thunderjaw hit us. Oh, God. There's a lot more fighters there. I can't just leave them to rot. They deserve to be bagged and tagged, too. Will you come with me? Lead the way. Glad to have you along. The Thunderjaw? Come on, man. I could barely take out two Ravagers. Good grief. Where are we headed? Let's see where he takes us. Yeah, I have like nothing left. To think, so many have to die just to get water. Did you try talking to your commander at Scalding Spear? <sighs> Please, the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn. About that. Wouldn't mind having yours at my side if it ever came to it. I'm just passing through, Draka. Uh, can't blame me for trying. Yeah, we've definitely heard that one before. But yeah, I need some medicinal plants, man. Uh, pack's full, but my stash has room. That thunder jaw's gonna wreck me, especially because I can't. Can I make tear blast arrows? I can. Yeah, see if I could have torn off those ravager. Uh, uh, cannons, or even one of them, I would have ended that thing within like 45 seconds. I guess I'll wait here then. Yeah, you wait, dear, because I got um, I got to save my ass here. We're talking about flipping Thunderjaw again with stuff like Thunderjaws. It's like using loads of tear, tear blast arrows to get some of their weapons off them, and obviously you take away their weapons and you turn them into your own. So it's extremely valuable. I guess we haven't defeated a Thunderjaw. The last time I faced one, I, I, I 
I wimped out, so I think this time I shouldn't wimp out. Gotta try. But I need more of those medicinal plants. Thunderjaw by night battle coming up. 